Peace, Abari Ghani, Hotep, Assalamu Alaikum. You are watching hashtag Supremely Faded, the real, the real barbershop podcast. And uh, the Supreme Style Barbers are in the building. Say good morning to the Supreme Style Barbers. Good morning. Good morning, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to say it last week, so I had to say it this week. <laughs> Grand Rising. Grand Rising Kings and Queens. And niggas. Uh, who's in the room? Hold on. Let me. Let me see. Who have been here? Who have been, been here? Who's up, up, who's in? up, up, up in here? Good morning, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all some good niggas. Tierra. Yes, Tierra. There she go. There she go. There she go. Hello, good sister. Tierra. Chris Quick is in the building. <laughs> oh? Chris Quick. Mrs. Charles. Peace, Chris. Yo, Mrs. Chris. Charles. Hey, Mrs. Charles. Um, last yeah. week was a Look, very we, exciting show. We about this far. We ain't had a turkey leg since, Chris. <laughs> Try one a turkey leg, Chris. Um, last week was a very exciting show. We had um our beautiful sister on, uh, sister Wanda. Wanda James was in the building repping, repping Miss Kamala Harris. We learned that her name is Kamala, not Kamala, not Kamala. Kamala. <laughs> we learned that she's a black woman. <laughs> her daddy black, so she black. And we learned that um, <laughs> we learned that uh, that y'all just vote for her because she black. <laughs> that we didn't <laughs> learn that. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that it don't matter <laughs> as long as she black. Hey, so so I wanted to know: do, do brothers get points like for voting for you know, a hey, queen? I'm gonna vote for the queen. Do they get like more women to talk to them or what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna vote for her. Fuck it. So part, part two: <laughs> political decisions, concerns, <laughs> criticisms. And convictions how will you choose and um uh it's been a whirlwind man uh kamala has been she's been making some uh some waves she uh some way waves she is showing the world she's been making some sporting waves All right donald's scared oh trump is scared he is scared of what Kamala is going to do to him. Trump's crazy. Yeah, I, I fuck with Trump to a certain extent. Then he get to talking about she ain't smart. <laughs> I said, man, <laughs> man, don't do that, bro. He's just dumb. Don't do that, bro. 
<laughs> he not is, very he smart. Is dumb. I'm like what? I mean, I, I have my problems voting for Kamala. However, I have even bigger problems voting for Donald Trump. Because, for one, to Trav's point, he's just not that smart. He's a racist. He's a straight up racist. Yeah. Ain't no doubt about that. It's 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 the good old boys welcome home if uh Trump gets back in there. Boy, it's gonna be a it's gonna be like goddamn he haul in it. They gonna get to call y'all niggas again. So, you heard you see how I say y'all. But um <laughs> Kamala, she's gonna give him the bill the business. And Chris asks why she have Meg the stallion up there though. To get them young people. Chris, let me tell you something. My daughter uh, was trying to convince me yesterday to vote for uh, Kamala Harris. She said, Daddy, it's, why it's, would it's you working. vote for her? The, uh, the, the, the pandering is working. You know, when you pull out a Megan Thee Stallion and uh, Quavo. Quavo and Sexy Red. You know, now you've got the ear to the, to the youth. Exactly. You know, so they're she, getting excited. See, Trump, Trump can't do that. He cannot. He cannot. And then she's just, she's going to run circles around him in this uh, debate if they have one. If he debates her. Because it seems not, like he's scared. She's not going to do that. She called him out, though. She called him out. Of course. Listen, I'm I'm going I'm to play a video. It's only two minutes. But y'all heard about her saying, uh, nigga, if you got something to say about me, say it to my face. She called him nigga. <laughs> she did. <laughs> what? I made that up. <laughs> but it was, it was like she did, but <laughs> here's the video. Two minutes. <laughs> I want to see that. As many of you know, before I was elected vice president and before I was elected a United States senator, I was an elected attorney general and an elected district attorney. And before that, I was a courtroom prosecutor. So in those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. He tanked, tanked the bipartisan deal because he thought it would help him win an election. Which goes to show, Donald Trump does not care about border security. He only cares about himself. So the momentum in this race is shifting. And there are signs that Donald Trump is feeling it. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. (laughs) Yeah. Y'all digest that. Shots fired. I like that. (laughs) Y'all digest that. Y'all marinate on that. All right, she got me. (laughs) <laughs> is that easy right <laughs> she up there looking good that's enough yeah that's enough say it to my motherfucking face did she say that yeah she said, she said, she said, she said, she said my she said not to my mother I put a nigga on the internet yeah um yeah Donald <laughs> I just call it Donald. 
<laughs> Donald, what you gonna do? She called him out. She's like, she's like, hey Drake. Right. <laughs> hey Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Quick says she want that smoke. She want all that. She want smoke. all that smoke. He don't want that smoke. He don't want that smoke. Yolanda said 100 percent feel that. She not hard to find. Right. His fine, raggedy man. ass. Right. I got time today. Trump is in trouble. Not hard to find. Trump yeah. do not want to see that girl on the debate stage. I was telling somebody just last week, it's hard enough arguing with a woman. I said, you can get a woman from the backside of Park Hill, man, you're gonna have a time just in a conversation. But you add Howard, you add- <laughs> Attorney <laughs> General, uh, Vice President. Right. Man, you can Hey man, win. just leave it alone, man. Just leave it alone. He go, he, he, I think his party is going to force him into doing it because he, that's what you do. They can't force him to do nothing now. <laughs> but he going to do it because his ego, his ego is gonna, right. not going to allow him not to do it. Right. And, and it is going to be a clown circus. She going to tear him up. She going to be all on top of that dude's head. <laughs> Boy, she going to make that wig pop off. <laughs> 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 you gotta have somebody, you gotta have somebody coach him. Uh-huh. Yeah, he got the. Uh, hey, he, man, he, he, he can go against Joe. Joe Biden over there. <laughs> she gonna be talking about all the white shit. felons and they felonies. <laughs> He's in trouble. He is in trouble. B said that wig gonna pop off. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. Is she is she is she growing on you? Is she what? Is she is she really growing on you? What? I mean, I like her for sure. But not enough for me to vote for her. What about you, did you say she's growing on you? She's growing on me, you know. I mean yeah. Tierra said, Have we been convinced since the last week? I'ma say no, Tierra. And and the reason being is um like I was saying last week, I think politics are transactional. So I'm not going to vote for any candidate that hasn't told me and my people what they're going to do for me and my people. And so because if you vote for her without her at least making that promise, then you're just voting for the status quo. Yeah. You're voting for basically a new face of Joe Biden. That's, that's all you're voting for, a continuation of what's been happening. You know what I'm saying? If if they don't speak to um, what your people need and what your people desire. And I'm, and I'm like Trav. Trav made a really good point. You could say what you want to say about um, Barack Obama, universal health care, uh, Obama phones, and what, whatever it is that you got out of the Obama administration. But there were more other groups who benefited more so than black people ever did you know what i mean so and and i understand that they're the president of all people i get that but i'm just tired of black people just being ignored you know that was all the time conversation my wife and i was having last night uh about how the democratic party can sign off on these policies that will aid other groups of people exactly how do we know that she's gonna not do the same thing? She is gonna do the same thing, and that's and that was and that was one of the things that I was trying to convey, you know. But I think a lot of people, um, they got this new energy about her, almost like it's gonna be different this time. But it's not. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just, just like, like Obama. Obama, like she's Obama 2.0. We we can vote for. Um, uh, Kamala Harris because she's a black woman. You know what right. I mean? And I don't have a problem with that. If that's your reason for voting for her, cool. Mm-hmm. But that's not enough for me. That's mm-hmm. my point. You know what I mean? Because Obama made us feel good. Mm-hmm. So Obama was like that sentimental thing like that we wanted to see. Like we, we, he always said there would never be a black president. Never be a black president. And now we're saying there'll never be a black woman yep. president. 
Let's yeah. chalk it. Let's, let's mark it off. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. What I said. Yeah, let's man. mark it off. I, I, that, that's that's one reason why I would say I was getting up my boat so my daughters could see this instead of seeing right. Uh, right. The, the twerking motherfucking rappers now, the, all the rap, girl rappers. <laughs> Shit. And I get t- sick of the, I'm sick of the girl rappers, man. Right. <laughs> so, so, hopefully she'll change the girl this, is, this don't even got nothing to do with Kamala it don't man. have nothing to do with her like, <laughs> like you got one in position there and you got all the, the girl rappers swaying, taking all our our young girls away mm-hmm. like the young girls they, they doing the most they running away they doing all kind of crazy shit Tierra yeah. said we as a people love symbolism and that's true that's, that's true that's true because and then you look at the whole symbolism aspect of it Okay, she's a beautiful black woman. She's intelligent. She's a, she has this impressive resume. But who's she married to? Jewish guy. Which, so, so which Donald a, Trump said a, that she hates Jews. So she's a, right? He's so dumb. <laughs> right. right. Dumb devil. That's right. right. That's why I'm going for her. We can't like, let him get back in. Right. We can't have Donald. We can't have, we can't have Donald, man. She hates Jews that she married, married to, to one. <laughs> Did you see Just her? dumb. You, that was just dumb. You can't yeah. vote for Donald Trump. That's for damn sure. <laughs> like they don't have no more Republicans. No, he's a front runner. Nah, he's a front runner, man. Trump yeah. cleared, yeah. the, cleared yeah. the house a long time ago. Yeah. 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 Can't vote for Trump. <laughs> yeah, he got a little dumbass superhero looking motherfucker as front vice president. And he's terrible. How you yeah. get somebody dumber than you? Mm-hmm. Right. That's why. <laughs> right. He got That's somebody Trump to, to, to worship TV, him. The TV guy. JD Vance. JD Vance. Yeah, so um sound like a cornerback. Sound like, right. a, car, yeah. sound like a car salesman. JD Vance auto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so so that's the question, man. Uh, do we want to just keep voting for same same, same old stuff? Yeah. Just repackaged. Because that's what you get with a shiny new uh, uh, shiny new bow on it. Shiny new bow on. <laughs> Cause uh, Kamala do look good. She's looking good, man. She's representing. She is representing. It's a pretty face. This is the first time I ever heard her talk like on an ugly reality. <laughs> Damn. She she she. I I haven't heard her talk this whole four years. It's the first time I've seen like some swag. You know what I'm saying? She got a little swag to her. She's so, talking shit. I want to I want to read something. She got the ladies behind her. I want to read something. Go and ahead. This is uh, in regards to you know like it, it might be a little late in the game right now, but should we start looking at a a uh, uh, having our own independent national political party? Okay. Okay. And this is from the book uh, A Black History Reader by Dr. Claude Anderson. Mm-hmm. Dr. Claude. It's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a basic title, but there's nothing basic about this book. Right. Nothing basic about this book. So it's a little bit. So I'm gonna start. So it says, should blacks form and support their own independent national political party? Most definitely, blacks should form and support their own independent national political party. Voting is based on the core premise that Q pro quo, which means something for something, the delivery of groups block vote to give the group the leverage to demand benefits to improve the lives of group members. Blacks then should cast their votes only to support a candidate that has promised benefits specific to their group. They ought not support anybody or anything that does not socioeconomically advance their group collectively. Whites have perfected shifting political parties according to what is best for their group, self-interest, after the Civil War, blacks flocked to the Republican Party and whites left and joined the Democratic Party. In the 1940s, President Truman integrated the military and Senator Strong Thurmond led the exit of whites out of the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. More whites left the Democratic Party when President Kennedy was elected because he was pro-integration and blacks swarmed into the party. Whites chose political party affiliation based upon what is best for them. Republican nor Democrat has delivered specific material benefits to black Americans in the last 150 years. 
Wow. Some might say, but Lincoln freed the slaves. Freeing the slaves was incidental to Lincoln's desire to reunite the nation. Freedom for slaves was a collateral benefit. The only way black voters can be recognized, respected, and become a powerful voting bloc is to form a national independent black political party according to his book, Powernomics. The way for blacks to acquire great greater voting power would be to one withdraw both the democratic and republican party draw from, withdraw from both the democratic and republican party run no candidates for public office but to proclaim a willingness to vote as a solid national bloc for any political party or its candidates regardless of color the promises and delivers the most benefits to black americans one more thing the mere possibility that the black vote might be in play, that they would have to be courted with promises and follow through, that their vote might no longer be predictable, that 44 million blacks might vote as a bloc, which might which make it difficult for any political party or candidate to ignore black voters or take them for granted. Just wanted to add that. Wow. What the importance of an independent black party, okay, uh, national party would be. So summarize that in terms of what do you think Dr. Clyde is saying? That, like I was saying last week about withholding your vote, withholding your vote is a powerful strategy mm -hmm. because the Republican and the Democratic Party has taken our vote for granted. They can look out for other groups of people but ignore us. We love symbolism. We're an emotional people. We love gravitating towards the Megan the Stallions and the, all of these things, but if this has no tangibles attached to it, what's the benefit of it other than just making us feel good in that moment? Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tierra said we need that. And uh, Emma Elizabeth Gray said, why don't we have our own independent party already? Good question. Right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, stay out of this. This is us, Sarah. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, stay out of this shit show all together yeah. right where are we with that Woo, i love it right i love it i love it man okay why, why I, don't someone form a uh that party an political independent party. political party that's and we should gonna, that's what we're going to gain power that's, absolutely that's where the power will come from and we would all be sitting there in that but but in in this book and he would, says for 150 years, we've been on this thing. Right. With no benefit. Right. No benefit. But that's we, so true. But we still feel like we part it's of it. It's going to happen this time. Right. And see, that's that's what I'm trying to point out. You know what I mean? That we're putting a, a, a pretty face on the same old, same old thing, same oh, old show. Black people oh. collectively have an abused white mentality. Indeed. He's gonna do me better this time. It's gonna be better this time, you know. It's gonna get better. Not me, niggas. <laughs> uh, Tierra said, and this it's is the most important part. It sounds so simple. She says because we are not united. There it is. Yeah. It sounds so simple, but it's Muhammad so complex. Our like unification. Would could be you imagine, like? Wanda was in here and, and, and Hashim and they riding for for um uh Kamala. Could you imagine if they're riding for our own independent black party? Can you even even the people who were in attendance in Atlanta yesterday? Right. If all of those people were just on an independent thing, right, how enormous that would be benefiting us. The people who built this country. Right. right. And who were head up that Dr. Claude Anderson. Right. He got the blueprint. He right. got the blueprint. And why is he if running? It's a blue, uh, if it's a political he was party. Years old, man. Let him run. Trump is 98. <laughs> <laughs> As Sarah said, Asian Americans are the number one economic force in America, and yet they don't play the political game man. at all. They play the economic game instead. Checkmate. I agree. Another yep. thing I've been saying, Brother Hacera, like, if we want to play this political game, get your money together. 
Get so, your right. economics together and buy you a candidate. That's yeah. how all but, this other groups do. But this, do. Is, the, but this is the thing. Love. This is the thing. Just last week, when the sisters money. united on the line and raised up all that money, right? We're buying a we're buying a politician, but and then uh, 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 Roland Martin doubled back with the brothers doing it. So what happened with all these black people? Putting but you're not together? buying a politician in that instance, though. But hold up, but hold up. What happened after all that money was generated? White folks started coming Came right out. behind. White guys for Kamala. They doubled Later, up. Doubled up. Doubled up. That. So did the white women. Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a, it's a financial game. It is definitely yeah. a financial yeah. thing. Yeah, but, but, but who's gonna who's you gonna help? You gonna help the one who gave the most money. most money? Because <laughs> the black the black women gave nine hundred thousand. No, they I mean no, they no no nine hundred nine hundred something thousand, and the, the white women gave them over a million. Right. Two million. Uh, yeah. Black women gave over no. a couple million, man. No. 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 The white women came behind. Yeah, they came behind and, and they came million. with with you know. I thought black women raised over nah. a couple million. Uh uh-uh. uh Um, wow, got some intelligent people in the room. Um, Emma Elizabeth Gray said, "When did he write that? That's the beginning of the playbook. We should have been. We should have been had our own independent party right after he said it. True that." And um, Michelle said, we are capable of organizing. The problem is this supposed desire to unify doesn't start getting amplified until a presidential election year. Some folks say it, but don't act. True, 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 true. And Hasera said, you ain't buying a president. I agree. <laughs> We're not yeah. for no 85 million. <laughs> right, right, right. Now he gonna cost billions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. However, it's not even about playing that uh, buying a so-called president as it is more on the local level, your senators, your, right, right, your, your right. Congress people. Um, but when you have when you have that independent uh, or that economic piece behind you, that makes the president listen. That's for sure. Now, I, I need some education on 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 this. Was it the very inception of the Black Panther Party? Was us trying to form our own political party? If Hasir, if you're still listening, what is? Because wasn't that the whole thing? The the Black Panther Party wasn't that the the independent Black Party that we were striving to get at one period of time? One period of time. That that's the question. Um, I mean, the Black Panthers I know was definitely a political force. Um, but 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 Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale adopted this from another group who were trying to get an independent black political party. Right. I, Sarah, thinking, so if you I, could think, try, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, Hasser said yes, but not necessarily for politics. Okay. Okay. And okay. Michelle said you buy Congress and judges. I agree. Yeah. Tira says she's taking all that money home <laughs> after it's all said and done. She's not taking that money home. <laughs> She's still a Negro. Don't don't get it twisted. The Mississippi Freedom Riders. Thank you. They will hey, lock I'm her behind up. Yeah. So yeah, man. I mean, and to her Sarah's point, like I was telling my daughter, uh, what she was saying, you know, why why not, Daddy? Why aren't you voting for uh, Kamala? And, and I told her, of course, by all means, vote for whoever you want to vote for. Um, and I want her to vote and learn this lesson because she's going to be disappointed if Kamala does win. She's going to be disappointed either way in this system because this system is, is about done. But I was telling her that my position politically is I always got to ride hard for blacks because we've never had anything. Like to Saeed's point and Dr. Claude's point in that book, we've been participating in this system for how long? 150 years. 150 years, yet we get the same thing out of it absolutely nothing every election cycle you think we would you think we would learn that lesson listen dude we're wasting our time <laughs> <laughs> we no for real like we still consider three-fifths of a human <laughs> three-fifths of a man and as long as that continues man it don't matter what the fuck we say and what, what we do man yeah I mean, you're that's, right. That's why we haven't had a, a 
100 well no, nobody's 100 percent. we haven't had a full black person run like president obama wasn't fully black he was he was half white right so the half white is overruled but that black that three-fifths it's in the constitution man. once that's, they that's, take that out and I, I i say we have a fighting chance once they take that out they've been revising the constitution why don't they revise that part that's what i was saying last week i said we have yet to have this a, a an emerging presidential candidate that is from the soil right yeah you know yeah from the turf again that that that, that speaks volumes <laughs> that speaks volumes and that's why um and i'm glad brother hasera brought it up that our position in the nation is about separation and people think come think that that notion is ridiculous but separation is only based on the fact that we have not been able to uh receive the first three things that we should have received as being so-called citizens of this country which is freedom justice and equality if you have not received those things after so long then the best and the only solution is separation creating your own independent political party is part of the separation process if you still want to play the game on the way out you know what i mean but ultimately um creating your own independent uh party is really all about um the beginning of self-governance and so we have what it takes to govern ourselves obviously there's a black woman running for president we already had a black man who's president you know what i mean so we can obviously govern our own uh reality if we so desire mm -hmm. but that's the question do is that something that enough of us desire do we have the unity to pull something like that off i would say unfortunately no but we don't we don't and i think i think a lot of times when we start being united if somebody comes in like I'm gonna say a nigga's name, Dr. Umar. <laughs> <laughs> like come in and use uh use the black love to, and, and use it against us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he pull money out of you because you love being black. You love like kids. You want you want the kids to excel. Mm -hmm. So he, he gets that money and then it's years, it's years down the line that there's still no school. And then when 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 the the mishap came about the school, then he blamed it on black people. Yeah, you, mm. look, you, like, you, you lose your faith in this. Yeah, you, the whole you, start, you start to look movie. and be like, damn, the, 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 <laughs> like, the, come the, on, dude. the cleanest nigga we know right. is dirty. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, damn, we can't trust nobody. Hmm. So a lot of people, us, like, you know, trusted this dude. Like, so they trusted him so much, they gave him money. Right. Like, get it started, brother. You know, you start from the, from the ground, from the ground up. And he takes the money. He he he, he doing whatever he want. Like, he, and and he's lying. He's not. He's not just just saying. He's lying. <laughs> Dude, where the school at? <laughs> now right. now now he's saying he got two schools. No nigga, get one open. <laughs> you know, get one open, then open another school. Don't go get two schools. Get one open. Right. And then when he then when he had like 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 the the building problems. He, you know how black people is. Don't don't use us against us now. Right. Uh 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 uh. I think Try I, mad I, Dr. Think, Umar. I, I don't think. I don't care how many George Floyd's, Sonya Massey's, Tamir Rice's happen, man. It's you gonna have a, a a a higher collection of black folks that's gonna believe and power towards you know, uh, uh, white daddy. And speaking of which, rest in power um, to Sonia oh, Massey. Mass. And, and Trav power. had brought it up. We were going to talk about that last week. Um, how every election cycle, they seem to kill one of our people. In front of us. In like front a of public us. Lynching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this time it was Sonia Massey. Mm -hmm. so rest every in power election. To Go back. Mm -hmm. Look at it. George Floyd. Every fucking election. Uh, uh, um, 
Mike Brown. Mike, Mike Brown. 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 That was an election year. Prior to that, that yeah. was a uh, was little brother with the Skittles. Um, um, uh, Trayvon Martin. Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Yeah. Um, this year, Sonya Massey. And it's um, um, what was his name? They they they, they choked him out in front of everybody. Uh, um, four years ago, Floyd. Yeah, George Floyd. George Floyd. Yeah, yeah. George Floyd. That was an election year. Yeah. yeah. It was during the pandemic. So, so, so I think I think what that what that does is it kind of puts us in a in a emotional state, right? And it, it softens us. Softens you know? us. Yeah. So then you can bring in a, a Kamala Harris, a psychologist, yeah, who's not offering us, us anything, like, it does with, except for mentally. feel good. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like it's fucked up, but so it, we it, ready it, for for this black woman to come in and. You know, save us, which of course she's not, not. and we can't blame her because she can't. She's not capable of saving all of our people. She's just here to rock us to sleep again, right? That part. Ain't nobody saving but us. Exactly. (laughs) But but it's 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 the willingness to do so, and 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 um, Michelle had made a point earlier. Um, that the desire is there amongst us, but we don't have the numbers. The numbers aren't there, mm-hmm. and I think that I think that can change if we have um, strong enough voices in the community to really make sense of what it is that we're saying. You right. know what I mean? Because everything separation makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense, but for whatever reason. We don't think that we can get along with our white folk. Right. Which is crazy to me. See, I think we, it's we, easier. We did before. I think it's easier for us to say as independent you know, uh, uh, workers. Right. When you are working in the field with all these, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to separate yourself and even have that mentality of separating, mm-hmm. you know? So, right. I think that's what it, it got a lot to do with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my wife said, perfect reason not to let Trump win. Because <laughs> uh, he wants to give police a broad immunity like he will have. Yeah, Trump uh, Trump wants to be king. Yeah. He wants to be <laughs> he's already let that be known. Yeah. And Trump, it, I mean, he's dangerous. I, I have to admit that because he already has the Supreme Court on, on his side because he put the majority of them up, up in there. And they all owe him favors, which is why, you know, they did the whole broad immunity thing right. for a presidential. And so, um, so, yeah, he's definitely a dangerous dude. Um, so, again, if that's your strategy, just because you're fearful of what will happen in the Trump presidency, then vote for uh, Kamala. But uh, my thing is we have to have it intelligence as voters you know what i'm saying if, if i'm gonna do something man i want to know why i'm not doing it just to feel good i i, I really want to know how it's going to benefit People really me need to be intelligent about their decision making absolutely and and if like you could say all day long you know i'm just saying for the average person that just might be on the fence or they they may not even want to vote or whatever Right. Check the boxes off. Like if she got the most boxes and roll with her. If Trump got the most boxes, roll with him. Vote, vote, vote how you want to vote. Okay, okay. So I look at this like like when we vote, we went and voted for Trump. Our wives couldn't tell us nothing. <laughs> we didn't know none of his policies. Who voted for Trump? I right. mean, not Trump, not Trump. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Obama. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, Obama. I was about to say, you I never voted for Trump. Trump. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Speak for yourself. My bad. I was wondering why y'all niggas looked at me like that. Obama. Obama. When we voted for Obama, it was like, it was like, I'm voting for him. I don't care what y'all say. Right. Who he is. We didn't know right. none of his policies, nothing. No. Right, he's like a black dude. Like Billy Look at him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, he got the crowd. Oh man, this is beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. He had a nigga on shirts and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was campaigning he, for him. Hey man, Obama was, was a different. Was that was a different. <laughs> 
breed. You know what I'm saying? Because he a cool looking brother. He's yes. Cool. Yes. He got yes. a black wife. Yes. Black yes. Not another light skin. And it was right. a black they wife. Black. And yes. there was only one of us that wasn't falling for it. <laughs> Rule. <Mr. Rude. laughs> Well, I mean, we all knew that we weren't going to anything get anything yeah. from yeah, it, yeah. but yeah. we voted because it just looked so good. Like the mental it value good. and that Democratic National Convention, boy, black folks were down on five points, stopping the train, <laughs> doing the <laughs> electric <laughs> slide. They was frying chicken, ants, so I was frying fish. I was telling the electric <laughs> slide and yeah, five like, points. This is why. <laughs> this is why I know that we can't beat the women. <laughs> they, they feeling the same way we feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right. They're like. Fuck you. Yeah, we putting I, her in. Yeah, I mean, Y'all been fucking this country up too long. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all born with yeah, that. That's yeah. what they doing. Like, why it's that, that, it's that, why it's that hope factor again? Yeah. It's that hope factor. It's like, we've never seen a black woman. That's what um Wanda was saying. We've never seen a black woman have an administration. And we've got to see what that looks like. You know what I mean? I mean so, and, I, and I agree now. You agree? I agree now because, you know. We, we, we did it for him. We, we, we try him. <laughs> but it's the same thing. It, 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 but, but, but we know. See, that's what I'm saying. Us knowing that they don't have no power. Women right. in, in that position don't have any don't power. Have and, 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 They're still going to be ran by the, by the yeah, and exactly. peep this, whatever. And peep this. If she is elected, she will be sworn in by the first black female judge on Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Emma <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Gray said y'all voted for the swag with Obama. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We, we did. did. We, we did. did. We, we did. did. <laughs> we had posters up. We had our pins on. Oh, oh, that. I had t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, he was he a pale pin with Obama's face <laughs> yeah, on yeah. it. He was the first nigga on a t-shirt <laughs> that was still alive. Yeah. Hey, he was the first nigga on a t-shirt that was still alive. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Man, we fell for the Ooh, right, hey. Obama. But we knew what was coming, man. But like I said, this is just a like like putting pig on a lip I mean lipstick on a pig, man. You know what I mean? It's still a pig. Ooh, so right. we go <laughs> we gonna put uh, uh comma up in there. You just call her a pig, Herman. Tasty, <laughs> come get him. <laughs> no, it's just an expression. But the, but what the, she but, represents is a but, but, but just That's the same thing sure. with like Obama. You know, Obama was going to black churches and all the pastors put their hand on him. Like, uh, this, this dude was oh, like, yeah, this dude was like Luke Skywalker, man. Yeah, you know <laughs> but then even with, even with Kamala Harris, she out there. I know how to make a pot of greens, honey, and love the hot sauce and yeah. electric Listen, slide. At the end of the day, man, they just want us to trust and all that. When he got a smoke out of each and every one of you, say it with me if you will. I know you know. Oh, B. They want us to trust and all that, man. Uh, they just want obedience, man. Oh, my she God. She a cute trick. <laughs> 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 Jerry says she's a cute trick. <laughs> and Tiara said they study us real good. Oh man, they they, do, they, they, man. they study us so well. They know how emotional we are, man. We millinated, boy. We rhythmic people, oh, man. We they like man. Listen, talk, Emma Elizabeth Gray said, said black girl dads for Kamala uh, for Kamala. Woo! Black girl dads. Yep. I want my daughter to marry somebody look like me though. Right. Oh, that just shut it down. <laughs> man. Oh man. I want my daughter, daughter to marry someone who looks like and me. And in the words of my wife, I would like my son to marry someone who looks like me. Right. <laughs> right. There it is. Yeah, it, is. it is. Yeah. But we yeah, uh man. We, man, we just we just even if he did make it to the NFL or the NBA. Right. Right. You know? So they had a. I was looking at some other footage of a uh, uh, Kamala Harris's speech. They had sexy red twerking. They had a white boy with a violin. It was like it was like some yeah, slave man, theater man, going on. Man, yeah, it was, buddy. And that crowd was passing yeah. out. Man, they was man. They was hype. Hey, we did the electric slide with a white okay? That's what I'm saying. Right. We was, in, <laughs> We was really we didn't get a fuck. We had that nigga on everything. <laughs> so so Nichelle and Emma Elizabeth Gray and all the ladies 
Um, we do want our sons to marry someone that looks like be on a us. Michelle. I like that. Go ahead. So oh, does it matter matters. who Kamala Harris is married to? Does, does it, it matter? matter? I think. I think. I think this. I'm gonna say this, and, and I said this to my wife. If Kamala Harris was a black man married to a Jewish woman, putting black women in jail, none of y'all would be involved with this. Like, right. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You flipping scenarios and shit. But it's but it's but it's real though. Yeah. Shit. I know she went to Howard. I know she AKA and she went Chuck Taylor's. <laughs> Michelle yeah. said, listen, she tried Negroes. <laughs> oh my God. I heard she tried a lot of them too. <laughs> Allegedly, Michelle. Allegedly. <laughs> We like, we like Trump. <laughs> okay. Black women. What if Obama was married to a white woman? And he was a prosecutor. No, I was just saying, what if he was married to a white woman? Would he have gotten elected? Would he would have black women would be talking so much shit. He wouldn't have got elected. He wouldn't have got elected. You don't he think so? Got elected? Yeah, he no. They made it easy for Obama. When they put Sarah Payne over there. married to a white woman, he wouldn't have got elected. When they put Sarah Payne over there, it was, it was a wrap. Listen, like, oh. y'all, y'all didn't vote for my, my favorite uh, black presidential candidate, Herman Cain. Because he was married to a white woman. He gave y'all pizza. Yeah, you didn't want him because his name was Herman. <laughs> I don't know why I his name was Herman. <laughs> Herman Cocaine. He's a pimp in the back of the day. Let me go to Papa John's. No, God and Michelle Papa. makes a good point. <laughs> white men would have never voted for Obama. Had to be married to a uh, white Hell no. Well, but might have been if he was if he was big a big white girl. But I think I think <laughs> I think I think black women white don't men. see her husband. They just see her. Yeah, yeah, she never showed her husband. Oh, he come out. Was that, that true? Do, do y'all um care that uh Kamala's married to a white man? And would y'all care if Barack was married to a white woman? I'm telling you, if Barack nah, was a white care. girl, they don't care. Because that, that stuff is white dudes that stuff is like, psychological oh, yeah. at the end of yeah. the day, man. Absolutely. That stuff is psychological. Do black women look at white men as a savior? Is the why it doesn't matter to them now? Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hide behind the mic. <laughs> has a black man been so removed that that's all they can rely on was the white man? So now it don't it don't make a difference. Ah. Uh, huh. Don't come after me, y'all. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I was in Winter Park uh, last weekend, <laughs> and it was a lot of mixed race couples up there. Was it a lot? Of Have you looked at the NBA women? lately? It was <laughs> a lot of a lot of fine black women with white boys. with white men. Yeah, and the, the the white the black dudes had the ones that the white dudes don't even want. They said they don't see her husband. Why don't y'all see? Um, because we saw Thomas we saw husband. Michelle. Cause we damn sure saw Michelle, and um, brother Joe says something very controversial. Brother very Joe's controversial. trying to start some stuff. He said, yeah. "Black women don't need a man." Oh, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, shots, shots fired. They don't need no nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where y'all, why y'all don't see your husband. Why does why does that? I mean, Tierra said it matters, but we don't see him. Because black women feel in the marriage, they're running shit anyway. So, <laughs> you know, you I'm a, I'm a, I, this is a conversation that I, I, I've had with a family member who will go unnameless. <laughs> but 
whenever they would see a a white actor with a sister, uh -huh. and, look, and then he went and got him a sister. Uh -huh. See that? Yeah, he got, and she fine too. I said, okay, so what if Idris Elba had a white woman? Or, 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 I don't know if I, or how we be acting. Why is it? Oh, why is it a difference? Why, how we be acting with Serena? Why is it a difference? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he had to go get. He had to go get him a. a yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Emma Elizabeth Gray said, "There's a huge bias amongst us. Barack could not have had, could not not have had a black wife. I don't care about her white husband because she's already been VP." Okay. Malak could, could have had a, a white wife because he's he's mixed. True that. He could have picked somebody like his could have pulled that off. Yeah. yeah. He could have pulled that off. But we wouldn't accept it. That was I the. I wouldn't have voted for him. That was the that was the Jedi mind trick right there. Where, like you got to have you a brown skin, black wife. You get the black boat. Don't come in here with your white girl, Barry. And you got to change the name to Barack Obama. All right. Huh. Real black. Michelle said we don't need niggas, Traff. Yeah, <laughs> oh, She need a black man. That's what she's saying. <laughs> oh, man. You right about that, Rodney Den uh, Jones? Denzel wouldn't be Denzel without a black woman. Right? <clears throat> okay, okay, Big Mike said the higher the education black women are getting, they're finding there are fewer and fewer black men who can match that education level and they feel like they are dating down. At least that's what I'm getting from the conversations I'm having. Dating down. Yes. Yes. So dating. So Wait, lower your bar. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I'm not dating for I'm not saying lower the bar to be with a nigga. <laughs> lower the bar just a little bit, just to have love. Brother Joe said, "What's uh, uh, Kamala's agenda for the country?" I'll tell you what it is, Brother Gerald. It's the same as Joe Biden's. <laughs> right. Right. That's just easy. Her name's at the top of the page. <laughs> right. Yeah. They just switch. Uh, he he offers she up. She next yeah. up. Same agenda. It's just like, here's another secret. Oh, Barack Obama's agenda was the same as George W. Bush. Yes. Right. Yeah. They're just the spokesperson now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing. So, Kamala's gonna have Joe Biden as her vice president. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna choose some white man. I want to get Joe Biden's son. <laughs> she gonna have some, some some other white man. Go um, that's, that's easy. Keep it all the way black. Little crackhead. Keep it all the way crack. She crackhead can't, white boy. She can't choose a, a black. Vice no. president. Oh, hell, hell no. no. Don't do that. Do you think she could choose a, a, a woman? A no. woman? No. 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 She's got to choose a white, white man. man. She's got to choose a white man. Yeah. Yeah. And there's plenty of, of them for, to choose from. But will a white man be a vice president to that black lady? Yeah. Or will uh, they try to kill her to get the white dude back as president? Mrs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to think about you, you, you the scenarios. <laughs> Mrs. Muhammad said, was Biden the same as Obama? As Obama, in terms of agenda, yes, ma'am. Continuation. It's all the same stuff. Two sides of the, uh, two different sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. Uh, Emma Elizabeth Gray said, "Y'all ain't lowering the bar for women who are a bit older, like myself." So nah, brother, we ain't lowering no bars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> We love the bar. The bar is there. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that must just stay out of it. I don't know. Yeah, I need to stay out of it. I don't. I don't know what the black man's bar is. What's the black right. man's bar for? Black man, we just want respect. That's women it. want love. Black men want respect. I know black men can't raise a black woman's status in society like a white man can. So you, you, but you can't get respect if she don't respect you. If she, if she feels like she's dating down, and you never gonna get no respect. You gonna disrespect you all the time. Do white men? We getting into a whole another conversation. Do white men? Did they raise the the standard? When they marry 
a black woman? Did they bring her? Hell up? yeah! I think I think the yeah. black, I think a black woman is the standard. Oh, she the standard, but they act different. They oh shit! You saw them white boys up in no, the park different. with the sisters. That is the standard. Yeah, and they act they act totally different than when they was with black dudes. They ain't mouth. They ain't, oh my. Oh man, they ain't talking shit to them. Yeah, they ain't talking shit to them. They being nice. I said, damn. <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? Said they said, <laughs> around the lips. <laughs> oh, they be so yeah. nice. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, they be hella nice. Like they, they talk. They, they so calm. You all can come around here. But then, but then I was thinking, that's right. where that, that's probably where their we'll peace is coming it. from. Right. Like that dude is probably not coming in talking shit to them. Mm-hmm. He's probably like, you know, hey, hey, love, what do you want? You want? Want anything for dinner? Uh, Michelle said, "Y'all lower the bar because the older ladies will get your meds from Kaiser for you." Michelle's <laughs> <laughs> funny. <laughs> and we do need our we older really ladies have, to get our meds. Right from, I'm not reading, brother. <laughs> 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 what did brother Joe say? Hey, Mark. Help us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, Yolanda said, Trav, I don't necessarily agree with that statement. I see black women popping off on them, too. On white men? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah, pop oh. off on them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a homeboy. I, yeah. I say, I yeah, say, she hey, run that. She yeah, run that whole just, situation. He, he just, he, I say, you a nigga. <laughs> she run that whole situation. And she be like, oh, she be like Kamala, get out. No. What is a, what does Kamala's husband do? What does he do? He's a he's a he's Hollywood, a Hollywood lawyer. lawyer. He's a Hollywood lawyer. Okay. Money. Y'all come get a haircut. A star two dot com. <laughs> We're at eighty sixty East Gerard. The suite. Come on through. Um, get your latest edition of the final call. Um, I wanted to. I wanted to say we didn't say this last week either. But the latest final call. This isn't it. Um, has a representative Sheila Jackson Lee on the cover. And may Allah be pleased with her. We lost her to, uh, I want to say to cancer, um, maybe a week ago. Um, So rest in power, Sheila Jackson Lee, a strong advocate for our people. One who represented our our, uh, interests. So pick up this latest final call. Um, Come get your hair cut. Come to the Our Nation of Islam Study Group, 7520 East Colfax Avenue. Please, this Sunday, please, 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 please come out. Be my honored guest. Um, we're also uh, we're gonna do a haircut <laughs> and backpack back to school giveaway. Yeah. <clears throat> this coming August the I want to say August the twelfth. It's a Monday, but scan this code, this QR code, if you can, um, and make a donation. We need notebooks, pencils, loose leaf paper, crayons, folders. Whatever the kids need, we're going to give away haircuts and braids and all that good stuff here at the shop. And you could drop your donations either here at 86 East Gerard, number 109, Supreme Style, or at our Denver Study Group, 7520 East Colfax Avenue. Um, so, yeah, join in, man. It's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. Did you have something, Trav? Put the camera on me, yeah. So, we got uh, this coming from my boy, Big Nation. He's got. Uh, the backpack giveaway, but his backpack is a little special because what he installed in his backpack is he dropped this. That's a freaking iPad. <laughs> so the children get a free iPad. Yeah, get a free iPad. Oh man, for him. Oh. Well, he only has. A, I think I need a. Backpack. He only had a few of these. I need to go to school. So, you know, come to court, I, you know. Supreme. It's my guy, so, man. How many, man. how many, how many only iPads? a couple of those. A only couple. a couple. Okay. He sent out a couple, so. Okay. He just said, you know, the, the giveaway for the kids. And That's more, how more, we more doing kids it. Going into high school. And it's more for that. kids like middle schoolers. You know what I mean? Just That's for, how we doing it. So y'all, y'all um, uh, scan that QR code. Come through right on August the 12th. Um, there's another back. giveaway on the 10th, I think. 
It's not ours though, so I'm not promoting it to where I'm <laughs> no, I'm well, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Was it another barbershop? No, <laughs> no it's uh D D and M, but I I have the information. I'll read it on the next show. Oh I got dropped that for dropped off yesterday. More? But yeah, yeah we like gonna uh, is, you know what date that is? Um But anyway, we're doing it for the kids. So you got one of them little flyers B? That's something else. Summer block party. Here, let me put the camera on that. Summer block party. I can't read it. Special guest, national recording artist. Big Crit. DJ K Tone, Big Crit. Music, food, vendors, games, face painting, photo booth, and more. And that's on uh, August Uh, 3rd. 3rd. 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's this Saturday. Yeah. See y'all look for that. Okay. So, look, we're going to get out of here, man. Hey, right. we love y'all, man. This is an awesome, awesome conversation. Once again, thank you all for joining. Um, remember, again, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. anything. We anything. getting out of here. We'll yes, see y'all on the next one. Oh. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Othello, in the building. Speak how you walk, how you blank, how you talk, how you teach, how you reach. Let it sink. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pain? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? How to play? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Did it pain? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? How to play?